my name is David Wahome. I'm a teacher of physics and today I have a ticker timer that I have come up to solve problems that are associated when you are teaching uh, linear motion. My ticker timer here is very very easy to use. It is small, it is very flexible. You can hold it in your hand very very easily and it is also mountable on a rod which can be mounted on a single boss and clamp. So this makes it very very easy to use because you can turn it into any angle vertically and also horizontally. So the ticker timer is of two parts. There is the the, the small ticker timer, which is uh, which is which is generally the, the most important part, and then there is the power supply. This power supply gives 12 volts AC at 50 hertz, and it can even be used for other practicals, not just uh, the ticker timer. And now the ticker timer is able to vibrate. Uh, at the same frequency when you connect it there this ticker timer is very easy to use because the, it has a wire it means that you can take it to far places you can take it to it is very movable and very flexible so that makes it very easy to use because you can be able to mount it high up or low or you can mount it at any angle so that is why it is very easy to use so this is the trolley and this is the tip and these dots will show the acceleration of the trolley as it was going down the runway. After you have attached a weight or at the end of the tip, you carefully insert it into the ticker timer which is mounted vertically and then you you pull it up using the tip. Pull it up, you pull it up. And then you switch on the ticker timer. And once the ticker timer is running, you release the tip. After the practical is done, you will get a tape with dots. Two consecutive dots form a tick. The time for one tick is the reciprocal of the frequency. And the frequency is found on the power or the power supply of the ticker timer, which is 50 Hz in this case. So one over 50 gives the period or the time for one tick which is 0.02 seconds so once you measure the distance between the two dots you divide by this time you get velocity for accuracy purposes we usually make five ticks so that we can reduce the error so five ticks then the time will be 0.02 times five then you can find acceleration by looking for two regions. The first one would represent initial velocity and the second one would represent final velocity. Then from there you can calculate acceleration according to this formula. Final velocity minus initial velocity divided by the time between the two uh, velocities. That will give the acceleration of the object 
on the which was attached to the tape in this case the trolley or the falling object the ticker timer is used in two major topics mainly linear motion and newton's laws of motion and this one this ticker timer simplifies learning in those two topics and it makes uh, learning learner centered because they are able to easily manipulate this without fear that they will destroy it or have danger to themselves.